Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. I've got my dad out here on the boat with me today and we are going fishing. We're out on Clear Lake. It is the middle of summer. It's a true summer pattern. So we're going out throwing a jig and a worm. We'll throw the shaky head, we'll throw the wobble head, and we'll throw a true jig, searching for those deeper fish on the ledges, outshore edges, rock piles. It should be really fun. All right, just pulled up to the first spot. Here's the gist of what we're looking for today. The offshore fish, essentially half of the fish in the summertime go out deep, the other half stay shallow. These deeper fish are very hard bottom oriented. They like rock, they like breaks. So we're looking for areas that, that roll off to deep water quickly and have a lot of chunk rock, either chunk rock or big boulders, but hard bottom. That's where those fish will congregate. Hopefully we locate a school. That's the ultimate goal. My dad's starting out with the shaky head. I'm starting out with a wobble head. We both got jigs as well. Those are all baits that fish really well on that hard bottom. We'll see what happens. Do. Way to get us started. <laughs> that one there came on the shaky head, June bug worm. We're working our way up this point. We actually saw the fish on the grass under us turned around and threw back out and it ate as soon as it got the bottom, didn't it? Yep. Awesome. Good job, Dad. Hey. Dad asked me to go fishing last night. You know one thing. Dad asked me to go fishing. It's time to go fishing. <laughs> Good start. fish, ate that big worm as soon as it got the bottom.
ate it funny. He's got it right in the chin. Right in that bottom. Nice fish. So this is only the second day back on Clear Lake. Brought you guys out both days. The first day we went up, fished farther up the lake, fished a lot of grass. Today we're after that second group of fish. We're fishing out deeper, fishing rock, and it's working. We pulled up on two spots, we caught fish on both spots. And again, we have not been out here for months and months and months. We were gone the entire spring. So it's not that we're pulling up on perfect spots where we know there's fish, it's that there's, a, there's an equation in the summertime. You can find hard bottom, you can find rock, and you can find it where it breaks to deep water quickly. This is a very high percentage area to hold fish. So you can identify those on a map, you can identify them by looking at the shoreline. You know, if you see a bunch of rock up on the bank, a bunch of natural rock, odds are that natural rock is in the water too. So there's a lot of ways to identify those areas besides time on the water that will really speed up the learning curve and get you around fish quickly. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you right off the rock, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yup. How big is that one? Two and a quarter? Two and a half? <laughs> Good fish. Got my jig. Switched locations, started blowing pretty hard, which is no fun to be out in those waves getting beat up. So we came to a more protected area, but still on a rocky ledge. Just reeling this along the bottom, steady retrieve. Most of you saw the video where maybe a month and a half ago, we went in depth about how to throw a wobble head. Just steady retrieve along the bottom, bumping over the rocks, and those fish just come up and stop it. It's an awesome way to catch them in the summer. That's fun. Awesome. Hook up a little. It's great. If they can throw it. You gotta put a lot of pressure on it. Oh my goodness. I'll go right under you. He was way out there. He ate that thing on the fall. I hadn't even moved it yet. Little smaller fish, but bit right 
away. All right, guys, we're starting to cook out here, so I think we're gonna call it a day. Caught them exactly the way we wanted to catch them. We found them on that outside rock. Depth totally varied. We caught them from probably five foot out to about 15 foot, but very consistently on that chunk rock right where it would break off, right where there was a quick depth change. That's where you find those outside fish this time of year. We caught them on a few different baits. We're going to link all that for you down in the video description with the colors, the rods, the reels, all that stuff. Uh, but we caught them on two styles of color. One is very bold. We were throwing June bug. Whether the, we got on different spots, some of them were clear water, some of them were murky. And whether it was clear or murky didn't really matter. They would still eat that June bug, that bright, bold, bright purple. The other direction we went is that natural on the jig that was a uh, molting craw paired up with green pumpkin red uh, and on the z craw on the swing head jig that was either june bug or california craw and california craw is essentially a green pumpkin watermelon with red flake also so two different approaches on color both work very well uh, but as we've told you in the past there's something about those bright bold colors in the summer if you can get them to eat them the fish tend to be bigger. But if you can't get bit, go natural, you'll almost always get bit. Huge thanks to my dad for coming out and joining us today. It's been a while since he's been able to be in one of the videos. I'm glad we were able to get out here and do this. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.